So I have, uh, I chopped up the sage and the garlic. I'm a really firm believer that if you want to extract the qualities that you want, uh, certain things you just have to chop up. And then, like I said, I warmed this vinegar up just till it steamed. And all I'm going to do is divvy up all the ingredients and put them in. So my garlic my clove, my sage, the thyme, which I'm surprised is still growing in my garden, but it is, uh, lavender, and actually I'm going to, I don't always cut my rosemary, but I'm going to actually cut both of them and my oregano so it's gonna take like depends on what you want to use it for but it'll be shelf stable for a year um, I'd wait like a month to strain it and lids as plastic lids otherwise you should cover it with wax paper before you put a metal lid on it shake it up and just sit it in the sun for a couple weeks or you can store it in a cool dry place and um, the other big question was what do we use it for well if Somebody asked about a tincture. I'd probably let it go a couple of months before I used it as a tincture. Um, if you strain it out and add honey, you have an oxymel. Uh, you can just use it as you would normal vinegar in medicinal cooking. Um, I know someone who puts it on their feet when they have fungus problems. So many uses. And that's two things of four thieves vinegar.